Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, uh, this student model here and we're gonna try to, actually this is probably too loud, let's bring that down. Um, I'm going to go and try and fix it, okay? So we got some good proportions and things like that. We still need some work. This is a person's first character model. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hair stuff here and I'm just going to hide it. Okay. And there is, I do believe there is a scalp on there. Did I get it? Okay, I think I did. So some things. First off, let's uh, bring the character up so they're standing on the grid. And I didn't check out the size of the character, but I'm just going to make sure they're standing on the grid. And I always kind of like to center them more or less. <clears throat> okay. And I can already see end guns. I can see geometry flow issues here and there. Um, what I'm going to do, and I happen to know there's a lot of issues with this model because I've already looked at it once. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get rid of some faces here. Let's just get rid of the soft selection I have on. And I'll start deleting out parts. I gotta center it. Pretty sure there's some face issues in here. You'll see if I go like this, there's a few issues in here. And actually, let's just go and if I double click on a face, I'll grab that whole piece after I've broken it off. And okay, and as we go up here, and so first off, let's just get rid of half of it. And you can actually see there's some overlap. There's something funny going on in here. Okay. And I'll leave that one alone for now. I'll come back to it and let's take a look. Actually, was I not paying attention? Is there teeth in there that were somehow combined? Okay, so these pieces all got combined together and I guess I wasn't paying attention to this. I wouldn't combine these together. First off, don't combine them. Separate, just delete the history. Okay, and we're just gonna deal with this one piece and I'll just uh, isolate it. And <clears throat> let's go and hit five now. Um, so maybe the first thing I'm gonna do, because I know this, this thing is haunted, I'm gonna go to uh, mesh and I'm gonna check out the cleanup options. So when I use cleanup, what I'm looking for is the non-manifold geometry. I might first decide to take a look at the lamina faces, okay? Uh, when I hit apply, nothing happens. If you had lamina faces, it usually deselects. Okay, and I'll turn that off. I notice these two options don't seem to like each other, so I'm gonna go and change now to non-manifold, and hit apply. Uh -huh. So there's some problems. Non-manifold geometry. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first is, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and undo. Freaking hate that. Um, and I'm gonna go down here and I'll take a look. So what do you got that's not manual? Well, I didn't need to see this before. This is kind of twisted up and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna hit uh, four and go to wireframe, see if we can spot it. Uh, I can't seem to spot the problem. Oh, oh. no, I'm hallucinating. Can't seem to see it. Actually, sometimes when you hit three, you might see something here. I'll hit five. And we're seeing some stressed out geometry and it seems to be right in here. That could be just the flow too. We could have five sideds in here. Okay, let's see exactly what it wanted here. I'll go back and I'll hit undo. And uh, I'll hit this again. I'm just gonna see what it picked out for me. And I'm going to hit undo a couple of times because I noticed those. Okay, there we go. Select the model as an object. And when I hit apply, it usually picks out what it doesn't like. There's something right there. And I hit five. It's kind of strange how it doesn't really show up. Um, okay, so it doesn't show up. Um, something I'm going to do, sometimes this will get rid of some of the non-manifold bits, um, is I'm going to go into, uh, we'll select all the vertices, and I'll go to mesh, and I'm going to, or edit mesh, and I'm going to hit detach. That breaks up all the vertices, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use merge, and I'm going to make sure I have a very low threshold, something like that. 
0.001 apply and you'll see that kind of smoothed it out a little bit more I'm just going to delete the history on that just hit alt shift D and okay then um, what I'll do is I'll try the cleanup again no manifold and did I eliminate anything well, looks like I got rid of some stuff that was down in here and what's that thing right there I'm just gonna hit F so that little piece of non-manifold, there's some kind of weird face coming out of a face right here. It's just not happy. And I think I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of that. Come on, go away. It looks like there was two faces on top of each other. There we go. Um, next thing I can notice is some of these pieces look broken off. Like you can see there's something funky going on here. And if I go to just face mode... Eh. What if I go to right click, I go to vertices? And I can't see it. I can see one kind of floating vertice here that I could delete. Okay, um, but uh, let's take this and I'm just going to go and see what happens if I go to mesh display and I hit conform. Didn't do anything. Um, actually, I'm going to try the uh, detach again. Make sure I get rid of the history. Grab all the vertices and hit edit geometry detach. Edit geometry. We already know I changed the merge option, so I'm just gonna hit merge. Let's take a look at that thing back here in the back of the neck. See, that seems to have fixed all this right through here. And now I'm just gonna check and make sure that non-manifold doesn't do anything funky, and it did do something funky. Immediately goes to component mode, and it will select the troubled geometry. So what's it telling me? There's some crap in the eye here. <sighs> okay. Um, that might have been me merging. Uh, it's all right there. It looks like there's a schwack that's merged together. I'm just going to go ahead and hit redo. Okay, redoing. Um, so it looks like there's one vertice here that's just totally freaking out that's been welded together. And I don't know if that's me or not, but let's hit F and frame it. And I'll get rid of this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just trying to decide what's the fastest way to take care of this. I want to at seven minutes already. Um, well, if I just go in here and I hit um, mesh tools and I hit detach, so it's broken up the whole area. Uh, what will happen if I use average vertices? Okay, they all split up. Okay, and. Some of these faces that are on the inside here, I think it might be faster if I grab this and double click, get the whole face loop. I'll delete that out. And is there another one here I can get rid of? Okay, because these ones here, to fix that, it's just a simple extrude to fix it, right? So let me go here and I'll just delete that out, delete that out, and I think that's looking good. Now I can kind of fix it from here. Take those two, and I'm just going to merge them. Take these two, and just hit G on the keyboard, and that uh, will merge them. And these two, G. And then what have I got here? So I select this one and this one, and I hit G. Those are all merged together. And then I can take this edge loop here and extrude it. And I'll just uh, push it in a bit. Maybe switch from local to global. Push it in a bit more and then hit G. And I'm just using the blue arrow. And the blue arrow, you can kind of control the forward and backward direction of the edge to some degree. And there, that's fixed. And now we've got topology issues. Topology issues. Hmm. So uh, let's see, where do I want to work from? Do I want to just start off in the face here? Well, there are some issues here in the neck. I'm just trying to figure out, I usually pick a spot and I start to work it. I'm just going to hit one so it's no longer uh, smooth. It's easier to see things. I'm just going to take that edge and delete it. This one here, I can delete that too. And I'm going to get my multi-cut tool out. Basically go from there to there. Okay, so those are a nice quad line now. And let's take that one out of here. Um, and what have I got? Now I've got these triangles coming in here. I'm not crazy about those. Uh, this, what I could do is uh, maybe take this and I'll truck my way down here into the neck area. 
Actually, I'm going to go right here and do it. Boop. Okay, and back up to here. I just right click to finish it. Okay, and I can smooth that out afterwards. Um, and I can take this thing, and for now, I can delete that, and that is a quad. Okay, and. <laughs> The eye's not bad. There is something kind of weird, like some of these edge loops I might not have here, but I'm going to work with it. Let's go to the front view for a second. And I'm going to put on the instances I'm working. Uh, I'm just going to go into four and a wireframe. And I'm going to grab these vertices here, make sure we're centered as we're doing this. Okay. I'm just going to grab my move tool. I'm just going to double click on the move tool. I'm going to make sure that retain component spacing is off. And I'll hit uh, X and it'll snap to the grid so it's all straight. Okay. I'll do it again here. Okay, so those are all locked to the grid. Um, the leg here is cruising a bit close to the center, so I'm going to move it over this way. I always think about the hip bone, knee, and the ankle, and keep them kind of straight, and your life is easier. Okay, now I'm staring at it again, and what else do I want to do? Uh, there is a vertice floating right there. Boop. Just delete that. I just hit the delete on the keyboard. If it's a what I call a wing vertice, they'll go away quite easily. Um, if I get rid of this edge and this edge, I can go in here and delete edge. I was holding down shift to get that, and that will get rid of the vertices associated with those edges. Okay, and we're coming up to this ear. I'm scared. Let's see, how would I get rid of some of this stuff? Well, if I took this one and this one and I merged those, they're kitty corner to each other. That makes a quad. And I'll do that one. And... Remember, the odd triangle is not a bad thing. So I'm... Uh, like right here, though, I can see a triangle sitting... Is there a triangle right there? There's two triangles. I can just get rid of that. Um, and let's see, some of this area here is a little bit funky. And how do I feel about this? Okay, let's go and do some more if I keep working my way from the neck. Let's go this way. I'm just going to delete that one. Okay, and now this one here, I can delete that edge, and I've got quads there. And I can, actually, I can't remember if I can spin. Okay, I'm allowed to spin. Okay, good. Sometimes the spin hotkeys, the uh, control, alt, and arrow keys, will cause weird behavior. I'm just going to collapse this edge. And what do we got here? This turns into a kind of a funny mess. I tend to hide these kind of things behind the ear a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so, what if I took this one and I collapsed it? Okay, then we got a triangle here. Then I can take this and spin it. Actually, I kind of like that one. I like that one the best. Just because it kind of flows with the jawline a bit more. Uh, this one here, spin that puppy around there. And I can take this one and I could collapse that. Okay, and what about this one? What if I take that one? I'm just going to collapse it, collapse that. Take this one, I'm just going to delete it. Okay, and that one there, I can just delete that. And take this one, I'm going to collapse it. Take that one, collapse. Take that edge in the middle of the two and delete. Those are quads. Um, <laughs> I'm going to collapse that. And Okay, what about this one? I'm going to spin that around. There. <clears throat> and that one I'm just going to delete for now. I might change my mind about that afterwards. Uh, as I'm going back here, I see uh, that's a quad. This one is a triangle. Okay, and there's a triangle here. I'm just going to see what happens when I hit G and collapse that. And actually, this one I'm just going to delete. Now, the reason I deleted that one is I figure I can probably just take the edge over here. So if I get the multi-cut tool and I cut right from there to there. 
Okay. Now, did I see that triangle back here? Was I smoking crack? I thought I saw something earlier and I just can't remember it. There's a triangle right there. Okay. And I got a triangle right here. So if I got a triangle here and I go like that, that's going to become a quad. Let's go right from there to there. And here I'll just kind of clean as I go. Quad. Then we get the triangle here. And then if I, I'll delete that out. I'm going to go from here to here to here. And now if I grab that one and I delete it, okay, now we got quads. And if I want to start cleaning this up as I go too, here we're starting to get a lot of history, Alt Shift D. Um, I can now go and uh, I'm going to grab my paint tool. If I just right click and I go to paint, sculpt, and I like the relax tool on here quite a bit. And I think I have the this, this stroke on, on reflection. I'm just going to reset the tool. If it gives you any problems, just hit reset. And now I can, well, of course, I don't want to use the push. I want to use the relax. Yes, it's good to relax. There. Okay, so I'm not crazy about some of this. Something about right here that I want to change, but I think it's okay for now. I'm not going to get too picky. Don't get too picky with the nose. Um, and then I come down into here, and I'm going to have to move that later on. right? The brush isn't going to work on the uh, border edges of the geometry. Um, let's make my brush a bit bigger. I'm just holding down B, and I'm left-clicking, and that makes the brush bigger. And actually, let's not relax that quite yet. And also, be careful of how fast you undo when you're sculpting, because it will act funky. But that's where you're going to crash. Okay, so constantly as you're getting stuff fixed, save as you go. Okay, so that's working out fairly nicely. <sighs> and we're moving down here and actually leave that alone. Um, what I see here, we got the 17 minute mark. I'm just going to keep going until I stop. Actually, I've got pizza in the oven. I should check soon. Um, but let's get the multi cut tool. I don't like this big section here, so I'm just going to go and zip across. We'll go there. See if I can get, uh, which one do I want to go to? I'm going to go to that one. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see, what if I go and I do something like this? And I truck my way across over to here. Okay. And then I've kind of got this triangle here. Remember, I can totally change this later on. All I'm worried about is getting kind of a strap over the shoulder. There, and then I, uh, maybe I should be careful about how much of this, I call this fearless modeling, where I come in and I just start slapping in edge loops, and it doesn't really matter what I do, I just go and know I'm going to be able to fix it. So bring this down to here, okay, and to get rid of this triangle problem right on the edge, if I go in and I get the multi-cut tool and I go from there to there to there, boop, and I take that one and I delete it. These are all quads. This is a quad. Okay, and I've just found a way to kind of go and bring it in here and get all the, get the quads going. Uh, let's take this edge and I'm just going to collapse that. Um, what have I got here? Oh, and I missed right here. I did something and I missed. Gee. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of geometry coming down from the back of the head, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to collapse these up to some place just at the base of the skull. Here. Okay, get a triangle. And I'll collapse this. All the way back down here. Okay, now I got that triangle again, but right up in here if I get rid of that. Boop. And just to prove it, I'll use that paint tool again. I'm just going to make my brush smaller. And I can just kind of relax that, and that way I've got rid of a bunch of geometry uh, coming from the head down into the neck here. Okay, and holy cow, this is taking longer than I thought. Um, let's see, for this one, thinking about the multi cut tool, and I kind of notice this one might look better if I do a kind of a quick loop through here. That will become a quad. 
when I grow up, I want to be a quad. Um, I'm going to collapse that. And let's see, I've got a triangle here and I got one over here. So I can do this one of a couple ways. I'm just going to spin this around. If you bring the two together. Okay, so now I've got a triangle here and a triangle there. I think actually the best way it will work is if I go like this from here to here. We'll see if this is the best one. Again, it looks different after you stare at it for a little bit. Mm, well, it is working. It's a quad, but not sure about it. Okay, and um, let's just take this and I'm going to get the paint and I'm going to paint that out again. Now right up in here in the arm as we're approaching it, there's no geometry in the bicep area and that's a problem. Okay. And relaxing, relaxing, and okay. And how picky am I going to get right here? Uh, I don't like this really stretched one right here. Um, I'm just going to see what happens. I go like this, and I take those two, and I merge them. Then I've got a triangle here, but this is looking potentially a bit better. Got a triangle here, and I know I've got another one sitting up here, so um, <laughs> let's go and see if I can bring this thing up this way, say there, and I'll try and clean as I go, because then it looks better. That's kind of fixed, and then here I've created two triangles, spin that one there, take that one and delete it. I'm not crazy about that flow, but how about this? If I take this one and come on, this one, and I merge those to center. Okay, that's getting better. Okay, um, I think I'll come back and fix this a bit later. What time are we at? 22 minutes on this. Okay, uh, did I see anything funny down here? Just thinking about moving up the leg a bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to have to come back and do another schwack at it. Uh, maybe one thing I will do is start really focusing on uh, doing <coughs> uh, selection constraints in the next one. I'll just start and uh, start hacking my way from the feet up into here and for the fingers up into here. So that's what I'm going to do next video. I'm going to stop here.